What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back in again with another video. So, I have a special video for you guys. This video um, means a lot to me. Um, I'm going to be talking about my dad. Um, my dad was recently recognized for the Bryan ISD. Basically, it's a, uh, it's a city not far from Texas A&M. Like, they're literally right next to each other. And... My dad is an officer, a police officer, and he works with the Bryan ISD uh, school department, you know, and uh, it's one of those things where it's so cool to see someone that, you know, I've always looked up to in, a, in the position that he's in being a police officer in the times that we're living in and still finding a way to do good for the community. And I think it's just dope to see that and for him to be recognized for it makes me feel proud as a son to know that my dad's still out here trying to protect and serve the community the best way he can. So he recently got recognized and they posted it on um, Brian ISD Facebook. So I wanted to share this, guys. I wanted to share this with you guys and just, you know, let you know kind of the cloth that I come from and someone that, you know, I really look up to and I want to give him that that appreciation that he deserves. So right here it says SFA Middle School Brian and um, I said SFA Middle School in Brian ISD School Resource Officer Dennis Haynes went above and beyond this weekend at a track meet. A student athlete from another school district was upset after getting his Chick-fil-A uh, nuggets knocked out of his hands by a teammate. Whoever that teammate was, you're an ass. Come on, man. Them Chick-fil-A nuggets are delicious. I'd be pissed off, too, if you knocked them out of my hands or whatever. The team, the teammate was understandably upset given the tasty nature of said nuggets, which I understand. But Officer Haynes worked to improve the situation. He quickly returned with a fresh, with a fresh nugget meal for the hungry student to enjoy. Thank you, Officer Haynes, for your continued daily display of Brian ISD slash essential a trait of kindness towards the students and staff, and. You see my dad right there. He he went out his way to get him some more chicken nuggets, you know, got him a meal, and he didn't even have to. The fact that he went out his way to get a student some more food after his food was knocked down, you know, knocked down by his teammate, and to pretty much de-escalate the situation, because obviously the student was upset, shows that he cares. And this is someone apparently... From a, a whole nother district. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not even someone from Brian ISD. It's not someone from that school. It's from someone uh, from a completely another district. And he went out of his way to do that. To avoid any type of altercation. That is what we need to see more of. When it comes to police officers. You know, it's not all about, you know, stopping the bad guy. Sometimes it's preventing a situation from escalating. And imagine someone as a as a teen as a youth seeing an officer that we're all told to not trust go out his way to make sure he's good he didn't my dad didn't have to go get him any food my dad wasn't obligated to do that but he did that because that's the type of person he is that's the type of man he is and that's the type of officer he wants to be and i love to see stories like this is these these little stories right here need to be more promoted you know i know there are some cops that you know they they go a little bit off the rails they 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 take matters into their own hands and they can get a little little overzealous when it comes to using their weapons in a deadly manner but when you have cops like this and you have them you know being spotlighted and you have them trying to protect and uh serve as a goddamn fly in my face when you have an officer trying to protect and serve in the community and not in an aggressive manner but just trying to help out with the youth like you need that man that is so beautiful to see it is it's really dope that it's my dad that's doing it you know what i'm saying let's let's check out some of these positive comments man it, the, the love with 1.2k likes 92 comments and 408 shares this is my cousin, actually, right here. Shout out to you, Regina, man. She, you know, supports, watch the channel from time to time. 
That's my mom's twin, y'all. You go, uncle. Keep it up. Keep up the amazing work. Yeah, because my dad is a twin, so my aunt kind of looks just like him a little bit. It's, it's kind of crazy, but that's that's dope to see. Brazos County 911 District. Officer Haynes has always served with integrity and kindness. We love working alongside him. Way to go, Officer Haynes. That's, that's from the Brazos County. Those of us who know Dennis Haynes personally know this is not an uncommon occurrence. He performs random acts of kindness like this regularly. He is an exceptional officer, an exceptional human being, and I'm proud to call him a friend. Officer Haynes is an awesome uh, SRO, and we are blessed to have him as our officer in Brian. Dennis is a great guy and has been for years. Brian PD and ISD are very fortunate to have him. He's such a fine example of... Uh, Example of what is great about Bryan Police Department. Officer Haynes is a true example of kindness and great police officer. And look at this. I scroll down. Look at this. Thanks for your service to the students. Look at this. No negative comments. Straight love. Officer Haynes is one of the best. Officer Haynes is the best. Officer Haynes is awesome. There you go, Officer Haynes. Like, bro, this makes me so happy, bro. So proud of my dad. Because I've grown up seeing this. Everyone in the town, everyone in the city knew who he was, knows who he is for his kindness and his generosity, bro. He's always trying to make the situation better for anybody else, even if it's a detriment to himself. And I hope that any of my subscribers that are aspiring to be a police officer, I hope they model after something like this, someone like this, where if they're not here to incite fear they're here to protect and serve the community and officers that are involved in the community tend to get a better idea of how to handle situations and you may know someone and they may know you and it may be a, you may be able to resolve a situation because oh i remember that time when officer haynes helped me out with some food when i didn't have it so you know what i'm gonna listen to him i'm gonna chill you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not a dirty cop. He's there to do his job, to make sure everyone gets to where they need to be to safely, gets home safely. Like, he cares about the community. He cares about the people in it. And it doesn't matter what race it is. That's what makes it amazing. It's not a, He only care about black people or anything like that. No, he cares about everyone. And I love it. And this is the type of stuff we need to see more from our officers all around the country, man. So... Hey, Dad, I'm proud of you. Thank you for always being someone that I can look up to and say, this is my dad, and I'm proud that he is my dad. And love you so much, and I, I hope you get a chance to check this video out, and I hope you like it, man. So uh, definitely we do have to get my dad back on the podcast one more time. We'll try to set that up on the In The Clutch podcast. So, but I uh, love you so much, Dad, and you're definitely making me proud, and you've definitely made a lot of people feel a little bit safer in the, in the community and bright. Thank you so much. But yeah, man, <clears throat> just wanted to do something a little special for my dad, highlight him and what he does. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys would like for my dad to make a guest appearance on the In The Clutch podcast once again we can definitely set that up if you guys would be interested i appreciate all the love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking in with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace